Hey, what's going on, guys? And girls, this is Ghost Roll. We're here with my best games of 2012. This one is about no second chances, about no second choices. Official top games, no opinions. 2012, my favorite ones, the best ones. You can buy them and love them. I promise. Let's get going right away. Number 10 is Xbox 360. Everyone knows that's the best. Number 9 is Mass Effect 3. This game has it all. You could be a space marine. You can create your own character. You can shoot lots of guys. You could be with girls. Lots of girls. Alien girls. Kiss them all if you even want to. Maybe even a boy or two. Ha. Huh? Well, this game also is part of a best franchise about space. It's gonna be a good one. Number three, the charm, third time, because you gotta know Mass Effect is just a very, very powerful series. They have emotion and choices, and sometimes you have a bad ending. This one had a sad ending. It made me mad, but I forget about it and just realize that I love this game because it's like Mass Effect, the first space team to explore a galaxy on Xbox and PlayStation 3 and Wii U. Number eight is Sleeping Dogs, a brand new open world game with features out to wazoo. It makes you feel like a new man. You have guns and cars and even some people from China. It does all sorts of brand new features, side missions and drug deals and level up. You could even make a car. It's a great one. I recommend it for all fans of new things. You don't want to experience old play sleeping dogs. Number seven is LA Noir because everyone says it's a great game from this year. Number six is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, the best game of 2012. How could I forget about it this year? It really was from 2011, but that makes it even a better choice for this year. Long lasting. I played this game so many hours, I don't even remember which I played. Was it Black Ops? Was it Modern Warfare 2? Was it Call of Duty? It doesn't matter. They all are great. They all look the same. That makes them all great successes. Number six, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Number five, Dishonored. There weren't a lot of other great games this year. This one stands out above the top because it gives you options. You can be a sneaky man. You can be a stealthy man. Have all sorts of powers. It's like Bioshock, but, 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 but. It's like Bioshock. You can do whatever you want to all them guys. Even use a sword if you want. But probably it's best to just stay on the floor and look for an opening. Maybe it takes you five more times as long but you will feel like a best person for being quiet number four is halo 4 and black ops 2 because i couldn't decide they're both such great games roll me over spin me up fill me with sprinkles i love them a lot you know that you sometimes have preference but my preference is both halo 4 has master chief the best chief around it has cortana and she's all wiggly and naked in this one which makes it twice as good i also like black ops 2 a lot that have evil guys, like, I think he's a terrorist, maybe. But it had lots of choices. You could even shoot two different guys sometimes, or maybe different parts of a body, and lots of just choices. There was a machete, there was a back-and-forth time twist, all sorts of just juicy plots for my pretty, pretty, pretty brain to absorb in Black Ops 2, and the multiplayer is even better than before. Number 3 is Far Cry 3, because it has a 3 in it. Number 3 is Borderlands 2, because it has tons of guns and open spaces to shoot all them guys. You have robots and robot robots, robots, robots to kill in this game. You can play with your friends if you get done with guns, but there's so many guns and even a chest with magic's keys. It sort of feels like a Zelda thing with Diablo purples. You get a purples. You you get a purples. Then you can take those guns and blow up all your friends and even your enemies too and take down Handsome Jack, the best, baddest boy of the universe. I love this game so much because it has guns and shooting. They're, they don't even, don't even worry about nothing else. You just shoot. Focus on what you love. Focus on what you love. That's what they always say in the parents. Number two is Journey because after I played so many shoot 'em games, I my eyes burned. I need pretty things, and this one's about doing nothing and sliding through the sand. Everyone says it's so good. They say, you love art, you play Journey. Our games are, our games are Journey. Then they, they just, you love it. It has pretty music. It has really pretty pictures. I just... I love when you slide on that sand and when you climb the mountains and you just, you get all wiggly in the side and feel like this is why games are great. Everyone says this is art, it's art. Number one is Walking Dead because everyone 
give it a big award, so I want to give it a big award, too. It's got everything you need for a good game. Tension, passion, desire, death, destruction, life, zombies. And it even has this cool guy, Lee. I like him. He's really friendly. We could maybe be friends one day and take care of Clementine together or be good friends. Sometimes Kenny made me mad. He's a real jerk. But that's okay. I never read a book, and this story is just blows my mind. It's the best story I've ever seen or heard. It's got all that you need for greatness. It has sometimes you press the buttons. Sometimes you make the choices. Sometimes you even get to walk around like a big RPG game. It, like, combines everything, even shoot them. Sometimes you get to shoot the turret or shoot the guns and take down the zombies yourself. It's really the best. It knows it's the best. Everyone says it's the best. Of course it's the best. I number this number one. My number one game of 2012, the game of the year, though, is Assassin's Creed 3. I love this one so super much. All sorts of new features. It even concludes the series with a bang. I played all the rest of them. Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, Revelations. I got all the goodness, and this one just tops the rest. Before it came out, I knew it was a 10 out of 10, and... Uh, Oh, it has buildings, lots of buildings. They look similar, so make sure you don't get lost. That would be bad. George Washington will come and find you. And in this game, sometimes the Americans are the bad guys, which I didn't really understand. But you get to be a Native American Connor. He saves the world. You get to be a man. You get to be Desmond. Three for a price of one triple jam. Sometimes you even get to explore around this secret underground base with Desmond and find out the secrets of all eternity. It's a very special ending to me because I was waiting for five games. That's $300, and now I got the ending. But that's okay. I think there's one more. Assassin's Creed 4 will tell me the truth of what happened. But my favorite things were they added trees, new features like trees and snow. And they even had jumping kills and all this stuff that I think was in the other games. But maybe it's new here because it's with Americans. It's more like us and we can feel about the British and the Tea Party. I like that part. You're on the boat. The ships are nice. So real winner is Assassin's Creed 3. They do a best job of making this game. Ubisoft, don't let me down. Make out Assassin's Creed 4. I will put down my pre-order at GameStop now. Thank you guys for watching. This has been my favorite best games. No chances or second guesses, guys. It's the best of 2012. You know the list. You know the games. Now play. Bye, guys.